In this video, we will learn how to conduct inverse probability for treatment weighting IPTW analysis. Motivating example is from the study to investigate the usefulness of right heart catheterization as an in initial therapy in intensive care. So the data set contained data from patients who were admitted to ICU, and then we will compare patient with catheterization and without catheterization. For the outcome, we use hospital length of stay and the survival. And this is a prospective observational study. And here is a data set. And we have ID. And the variable called SWAN will show who had right heart catheterization and who doesn't have catheterization. And the SWAN dot number is a numeric coding for SWAN. And hospital dates indicate hospital dates. And DTH30 indicate whether a patient died or survived at the end of 30 days from ICU admission. And death days 30 indicate time for the death within 30 days from ICU admission. This is the baseline characteristics table to compare the balance between two treatment arms. And as you see, there is a large difference between the group. For example, Percent of sepsis is less with right heart catheterization group, a little bit younger in age, and uh, worse in albumin, and severity score is much higher with the catheterization group, and higher in heart rate, lower with the respiratory rate. If we ignore this unbalance, the analysis might result in large bias in estimating a treatment effect. So we may conduct analysis with propensity score. You can compute propensity score using logistic regression option in EZR. So go to logistic regression and then uh, put swung dot number as a dependent variable and patient characteristics variable in explanatory variable box. Click the option making propensity score variable and then hit OK and that will automatically create propensity score. Propensity score is the probability of receiving right heart catheterization in this example. This video mainly explains how to do inverse probability of treatment weighting method, so we do not cover in detail the propensity score matching. But if you are interested in doing a matching instead, and this is how to do it. In EZR, there is option called extract matched control. And uh, you choose swung that number and make sure you use numeric variable here. This does not take categorical variable. So use swung dot number instead and uh, match by propensity score. And a new version of EZR have option to set up caliper. So default is set to 0.2. In this example, point 0.2 did not work well, so I choose to use caliber of 0 0.05. And when you click OK, and EZR automatically create a new data set, and by naming the data set with underscore MP at the end of the original data set name. And EZR also have option to create background comparison table. As you see by matching, by matching, the difference between the two treatment groups are much smaller. And standardized mean difference is less than 0 0.1, indicating a good balance. So later in this video, I will show you what is SMD and how to compute it. Once you do matching, and you can perform outcome analysis as a regular manner. So you don't have to worry about using much variable in the analysis. So if you want to see the effect of right heart catheterization on the survival, and perform regular Cox proportion hazard regression. Okay? And since baseline are balanced, and you don't have to worry about adjusting for covariates. And just click OK, and this indicate using a catheter may increase risk of dying by 1.3 volt.